So for this exercise, I'm going to minimize my interface as much as possible. So I'm going to close the toolbar, I'm going to close my layers, and I'll re leave my resize brush open. I want to start with a square canvas. So I'm going to go up to Image, and I'm going to go to Image Size. And uh, down here, I'm going to uncheck Keep Proportions. And right here under Width, I'm going to change this to 2000. I'm going to change the height to 2000. And I'll hit OK. So here's my square canvas. I want to divide this canvas into four parts. So I'm going to go over here to my tools and I'm going to switch on the Y symmetry and switch on the X symmetry. I'm going to switch over here to my pencil and I'm going to change my color to blue. I'm just going to trace these lines. So in order to do that, um, I want to draw a straight line. So that means I'm going to hold down the shift key and draw this line. I'll try that again. Okay, um, I'm going to turn off my X symmetry like so. I'm going to leave the Y symmetry on. I'm going to bring up my layers real quick and I'm going to rename this to Guidelines. I'm going to add a new layer. Drag that below the Guidelines layer. And I'll rename this to Drawing. All right, so I'm going to switch to my paintbrush and I'm going to change my color to black. And then I'll resize my brush. Let's see. That's good. So, uh, your brush size is about three is fine. So I'm going to draw the fuselage of the airplane right now. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and draw a line. Now I'm going to zoom in towards the top here, and I'll draw the nose of the plane. I'll zoom out, and then down here I will finish off the fuselage with the tail. All right. Okay, I'm going to bring up my ruler tool and I'll start with the wings. Let's try something like this. Now I want to straighten out this ruler, so I'm going to double click on either one of these handles and that will give me a horizontal line. And I think what I want to do is um, draw that line again. Maybe move it up a little bit higher. Now I'll draw this angle here. Okay, so I'll close that. I'm just going to hold down shift and draw this line here. And I will take my eraser. Uh, let me resize this eraser brush here. And just clean that up. Okay. So let's bring the ruler back up. We'll just move it down to the back of the plane.
Okay, so let's zoom in here. And I'm just going to draw a line. And then I'll take my eraser and clean this up. So we've got our top view of the plane. So I'm going to grab my selection tool here, select the entire plane, rotate it 180 degrees. And scale it down. I'm going to move it into this quadrant right here. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so let's go back to our guidelines layer. I'm going to switch to blue again. And I'm going to bring up the ruler. So I'll double click on this to make sure I'm at 90. And I'm just going to line this up and make sure you're on the guidelines layer, not your drawing layer. And let's draw in some guidelines for the wings. Since we want to remain, we want the proportions to be accurate. All right, and we'll do the tail. And last, we need to do the fuselage. that line over a tiny bit. All right. So now I'm going to bring up my ellipse tool. And I'll double click on that to make a perfect circle. And then I'm going to scale the ellipse down so that it's right in the center right here. And I'm going to switch my color to black, switch my brush to the paintbrush. And also, this is very important, switch back to the drawing layer. And I'm going to zoom in here. Now we just want to draw in the round part of the uh, fuselage for the plane here. And then I'll close the ellipse tool and bring my ruler back. And we need to change the angle on this. So the wing is going to have a slight angle. You can see right here that my angle is set at 4 degrees. So the wing is going to go up slightly. So uh, I'm just going to draw this going out. We know to stop right here, right, because we have that guideline from the wing in the top view. And I'm going to change the angle slightly here. I'll close my ruler. I'm going to zoom in even further and I'm going to freehand draw this part of the wing down here. I'm not going to draw the other side of the plane. I'm going to mirror that later. So I'm just going to draw that in. And 
then we need to do the wing and the tail in the back. So I'll bring my uh, ruler back up here. I draw that line. Close that. And I want to connect this line here. And then the last thing I need is I need to draw in a line for the, the tail. So let's see, I'll bring up my ruler. Okay, and I'll come in here and I'll just draw maybe the area for the window for the pilots to see out of. Okay, so you can see the fuselage, the width of the fuselage is the same, the wings, same. And so now everything, I've checked everything. I'm going to come in and select the whole plane. Hit Command C to copy. I'm going to create a new layer and hit Command V to paste. And then I'm going to go to Image Mirror Layer. And I'll take this actually and move it over here. And actually, let me leave that there for now, and I will delete this half. So I've just selected the half of the plane, the uh, fuselage on this half, and I'm just going to hit delete. Oh, and I switched some layers to my drawing layer here. All right, let's take this piece, switch to layer two and move this up. Okay. Uh, I'll just merge these two layers. So I'm going to click here and go to merge with below. And I'll delete this over here. Okay, so at this point I'm going to save my work and uh, so I'll just go to File, Save, and we'll call this Plane 3 Panel View. I'm going to hit Save. So in the second part of this video series, I will draw the side view of the plane and then we'll split each of these views off. We'll separate them as three separate images so that we can import them into Maya.